Okay, this is a really cool feature in Adobe Bridge CS5 that I stumbled across in the past uh, couple of months, and I just wanted to share it with you because it's really pretty sweet. If you guys work with Facebook or Flickr or Photoshop.com or anything like that to share images and you want to do it, you can do it from Adobe Bridge CS5, like I said. And you got to make sure you have the latest and greatest version of Adobe Bridge CS5. So I would go up to help if you guys open Bridge and you can open Adobe Bridge from any application, from Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, all those programs. Go in and make sure you have the updates, and they're all there. You should see a panel over here on the left called Export. If you don't see it over there, you can come under Window, and you should see the Export panel here. Okay, Like I said, got to have the latest version. All right, now you can see we can work with Facebook, Flickr, Photoshop.com. You can also save to your hard drive, basically make a copy. What's really cool about this whole thing is you can take Illustrator files, Photoshop files, you know, JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, all these different file formats, and basically just drag them over there and upload to one of these. So, for instance, I want to take this Photoshop file, this JPEG, um, I don't know, I'll take this PSD here and this Illustrator file, and what I can do is select them. I'm using the Control key on Windows, Command on Mac. You can select a series of photos. Now, there's two ways we can go about this. You guys already have to have an account typically in Facebook, Flickr, or Photoshop.com. You're going to sign in. You can either drag and drop on the actual Facebook, Flickr, or Photoshop.com icon, or we can create what's called a preset, which means that it automatically knows what to do with that stuff. So that's what I want to do. So if you come down to the bottom here, you want to click on Facebook, if you're going to use Facebook, or Flickr, or whatever. Come down to the plus down here. Click on the plus. It'll add a preset. What we'll do is we'll sign in. And you got to type in your stuff here. And let me just do this real quick. Do, 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 do. Take a second. Now, you can say keep me logged in if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, you can also sign up if you want to create an account here. It's kind of cool. Click log in. It'll log. Now, it's going to say do you want to create a photo album? These are existing photo albums that are up on Facebook, for instance. So I'll click create a photo album. That'll create a new one. You can also add to existing. Let's call it uh, Brian, whatever, work stuff or whatever you want to call it. Give it a location, you know, description, any of that stuff. You can send it to anybody, friends, only friends of friends. I'll click OK. Sorry, that was my phone. That's awesome. I'm supposed to turn your phone off in the recording. So I got Brian work stuff right here. Now what we can do is go to image options and say let's resize the images constrained to fit a certain size, you know, bigger, smaller, how you want to actually do that resampling wise. Always render from the full size image, the original image. Set a quality if you want to, lower, higher. You can include the metadata or just certain metadata, which is kind of neat. You can add keywords, pretty cool, just separated by semicolons. That's actually kind of a weird one. And we can create a preset down here. Now this is the this is the key, you guys. This preset's going to allow us to just easily do this. So it says my preset here. I'll just call this um, work photos so I know which one this is. Get rid of the H. There we go. I'll click save. And you'll see right here it says work photos. Now, just like it says here, drag files from the queue in. So I'll select a bunch of pictures, drag them in, drop them on work photos. It's interesting because it's going to list them here. And what you can do is you can say, okay, either delete this from the list or show me what it, where it is in Bridge. I want to upload them. So I'm going to get this done. So I'll click Export to Photo Job, Photos Job. Now, I wouldn't do it until you guys click that. Now you can see it's going through and saying, okay, export to whatever we're doing, Facebook, Flickr, Photoshop, etc. It'll keep everything in a list out here. So every time you guys upload to something, to another you know, uh, image, whatever, it'll keep it in the list. You can always clear the list really easily and just start again. Now, what I want to do is show you guys exactly what happened here. So you can see it actually uploaded. It says reveal job. I can do that. And there goes my phone again. That's awesome. I'm going to go up to Facebook. I can see all my photos right here. And there's Brian work stuff right there. There's my little boy too. Anyway, I'll click Brian work stuff. Converts them to JPEG typically. You can see here fake model, JPEG, JPEG, JPEG. There we go. And we have it. Once I click on these, as big as it can get. And there it is. So anyway... Because that's working with Bridge to be able to upload to Facebook, Flickr, Photoshop.com. Really a great little feature here to make things a little bit faster for you.